So my question today is, how many of you know a veteran? Everybody has the glorification of what veterans' lives are after they serve. Many of you just think stories that become movies like American Veteran. Um, I mean, American Sniper and Thank You for Your Service are just, you know, American Veterans. They're made up stories. These are factual stories. My husband actually served his last deployment and got to work some with Chris Kyle. They trained in the same program taught by the same person. It's not glorified when they get out because a lot of them, if they get injured while they're over there, their injuries catch up with them. Thank you for your service is more accurate and what I live with and many others do as well as a veteran wife. It's what many over there deal with. They don't get as lucky as Chris Kyle where they keep their families together as a whole or they get lucky enough to get service connected. They have programs that aren't there for them and take advantage of them. The one locally here that's a big scam is Wounded Warrior. We've tried a couple times and got approved for help and never received any help. And we're almost, almost, almost homeless because of it. Excuse me. So, I think that more people should be connected with volunteering to help veterans, whether it's Meals on Wheels, whether it's caregiving. A lot of them will talk to you about their issues. You'll get to know them and realize what they struggle with. If you become an advocate for them like I have for my husband, you realize the real struggles that they incur with the program that is broken and leaves them without many options. They don't take care of them like they're supposed to. That is one of our major issues here in America. They want to fix soldiers until they're completely broken and then they leave them. Because they're no good to them anymore. It's something that needs fixed. They should not be going without insurance. They should not get approved for things through the VA of getting outside of a VA facility and then have the, the Veterans Affairs not want to pay for what they approved. They shouldn't get surgeries and physical therapy before the surgery and then finally get the surgery years later and not have physical therapy afterwards. This does not prepare them to function normally in their family or in society as a whole. But this has to do with everybody. It's not just veterans. It just seems to be harder with veterans. There are still counties where it is hard to get help for mentally um, challenged people or people that struggle with any mental issues at all, let alone to get the proper care that they need to function properly. So we need to be more mindful of that and get more hands-on experience before using stereotypes because there's too many that occur. Not all PTSD is caused by war. Civilians get it too from different things that occur in their life and how they end up handling it and processing it. So that's what I reach out to you today and say to do your research and stop thinking that some of these movies are just movies. Some of the movies are documentaries. Very little has been changed. They're actually facts and stories that are being told to make one knowledgeable. And there's a lot of things going around in the world today where you think that just everything that's in a movie is make-believe. No, there's actual movies that are fact-based and are made to help teach lessons to a wide range of people worldwide instead of a small group. To make facts knowledgeable to a wider group of people than what 
the normal average would be. I advocate for my husband, who is a veteran, who didn't get lucky on his last deployment. And he's a young still. He shouldn't have as many problems as he does. And people assume because they can't see what he's going through that he's perfectly fine to function normally. However, that's not the case. That's why I advocate and caretake for him. I also have a high-functioning special needs preteen. Yes, preteen. And I struggle to advocate for him as well because the resources make it hard. It is more stressful to be a special needs parent and or a wife of a veteran, whether you were there through their deployment or not. Not everybody is able to handle it. And one of those issues can break up a household because of the amount of stress that occurs. And it, it's stressful for both parties, not just one. It takes a lot to stay together through really, really rough times of trying to advocate for your child or to help a veteran because of how they're trained. They're trained not to open up, not to seek help, kind of like shake it off type deal. You can't always do that though. And when you have a family, it's important that you try to fight your best to get the type of care that you actually deserve and need, not what they just what they want to give to you. This is also what causes a lot of people debt because the programs don't want to assist them like they're supposed to. So I am asking before anybody makes their own opinion about what they think one is going through, try to put yourself in their place. Try to get the real story and the real facts about their situation. Because sometimes our stories are more than just skin deep. Because our scars can be internal and not external. A lot of veterans that can't function normally would love to function normally and not be told that they can't do things. It's very sad. Both men and women go through that. So I am basically asking that you s more people try to stop and think. I know it's a bad habit sometimes when we're in certain situations. But everybody has their days and we don't all know everybody's stories. So we need to try to be more empathetic. You don't have to get personal with everybody. That's a personal choice. But to be more empathetic and try to put yourself in their shoes and just imagine what they could be going through on that day. We have homeless people and a lot of them are veterans. Not by choice of being homeless. Because even though it's an at-will workplace and they get credits for hiring veterans and low income, they still don't honor veterans like they used to in a lot of places. It's discouraging on many levels and it's a really big struggle. Not everybody gets that welcome home with a big party. Some people get scrutinized when they come home. And this works well for everybody. It doesn't matter their situation. You don't ever know until you've walked in their shoes or at least stood by them through what they're going through. So that's my tip for today. 
I hope you all have a lovely Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Yay, Friday starts off the weekends and hopefully on to warmer weather. So there's a thought of today. Have a good day. Bye.